Good evening everyone. Welcome to my new video for Azure Basic uh, Learnings. So here what we are going to cover, we are going to cover the access keys and shared access signature that is SAS token. Why it is really important because in the many of the corporate world, this is the highly hot topic. What is the basic uh, differences and it is really important in other sense. This is the only way out to give the access to how people are going to access your storage and their services. So let quickly start. So as you know, like we have created few of the resources and still I am 100% sure that you have watched me all videos and you have idea how to start Azure and how to create resource resource group. What is the storage account? What is ADLS? What is blog? What are the basic differences? So all I have topic covered in my previous videos. If not was then so you can watch it after watching this video no worries let quickly start coming to my one of the blob storage account sorry guys i have written it blog but it is blob you can see it, blob services so what we have to do we can see these are the options present on the left side so while uh, searching access keys and shared access token one by one just quickly type it here access keys you can see access keys and shared access signature so go quickly go to access keys these will be come right so these are going to come so you can see the storage account name that the storage account name it was previously uh, there so we have to close the keys click on the show keys okay so we can see key one and key two two values are coming why it is there it is really hot topic for the interview as well why there is key one and key two if you know then please do let me know as well and but what i have idea i'm just going to tell you guys so key one and key two suppose your key one value got exposed to somewhere or maybe some person know it right? so but your services has been connected with key one but you know right that your key one value got exposed so but you have to change it right so meanwhile suppose some work is going on so that work will be got disconnected so if you change this key one so what we have to do we have to just rotate the key if you'll rotate it so this value will be reconnected this value will be changed and azure will manage it and it will be reconnected with other services and meanwhile you can change the value that key one value okay so now once your key one value got changed you can regenerate here while rotating keys and it will be boom okay so you have finished it here but what is actually access keys access keys is providing the access to individual or someone or any level to a group of people at account level that means people are getting access for every services if i open my storage account you will see all services file services queue services table services this do let me know if you just want to know file services key and table services because it is not important for the data engineer side right? but we'll cover it if you guys are interested so that access key level will provide access on the account level that all the services will have access to first that is really not a nice approach right because in the corporate world lesser the access better the result okay if you can do it with very less access then it's really good to do it if no then if there is no workaround uh, then only we have to provide these kind of access i hope access keys is clear now quickly come and check the shared access signature what exactly it is so shared access signature people tell it in short that is sas token yes sas token okay we'll tell it sas token what it means sas token is providing access on the customization level that we can customize it like what kind of services we want to give it and what level we can want to give it and till what time we just want to keep the access 
suppose I want to give at only the blob level, not file queue table. I only want to give the container, not object and services. I only want to give read and write, not add, create, immutable storage. This option will be enabled. And suppose today is 28 months. So I just want to give it 30 months. Okay. And these two days only, this access will be valid till this time. And now start generate SAS and stream connection stream. You can see this SAS token. You need to copy this value and give it to someone who is going to access these services. So that person need to choose the SAS token method and they need to provide and they need to give this token value and then they will be able to access these services which you have customized it here. Also here you can see key one and key two, right? Key two. So again you need to generate it and yes, boom. So the concept would be same. What is key one and key two? I hope that SAS token and access keys label is very clear. In the next video, I'm just going to show you that how actually you can connect your Azure Storage Explorer using access keys and shared access signature. That there in you have a clear idea with what we can exactly see. If you'll give the access key level, you can see the entire list of the services. And if we'll give the shared access signature method, the only people can see these services which is customized it here. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, you have answered now what is shared access signature and what is access keys. Thank you. Keep watching, keep growing.